I you won. know the first time I went to Vegas? I was there for my 21st birthday, right? Went with mm. Dave and, and uh, Steve. I was there too. No, you were not there. Not the first time. I did take you, but not when that dude. You would have been. You would have been yeah, eleven. You didn't, you didn't go on. I, that one. I was. I didn't take you. Please, you're I didn't take I you there. Twenty first. You, were Andy. Alive. I did not take you. Was, you would have been eleven. I think I was there. No, you were there in spirit. You were not you there. His twenty first. And you were still dressed up as Batman. That would have been weird. Would have been Allow killer. You cook this meat with my eyes. Yeah. No, no, you're not doing that. Andy. Say I was a member of Circus LA or something. Yeah, yeah. No, no. We we we, we sent you to Circus Circus. You played with the. Uh, That's what it was. With the clowns. No. But anyway, so I was there for Matt's twenty first. Yes, you were there for mine. Yes, that's when I won all that money and then yeah, went to wait, collect it. But how about this? Me. Hold on a second. Wait a second. So I walked into the into the casino, right? And I'd never been. Like I said, I wasn't like we had talked about on a previous episode. I had never been to a club. I didn't. So you were committed was, to being a good, good yeah, child. I was committed to being a good child, good, right? To being good a good boy. older brother, to being a good example. I was committed to a lot of things. Um, to a long term deal with a lot of networks. Uh, I was committed to a lot of things. Um, <laughs> but no, it, it's it and. Uh, <laughs> And I walk in, and I swear to God, the first thing back then, you this was in what nineteen ninety seven. So I could put the you could still put coins. It wasn't like the digital tokens, right? So you could still actually put a quarter in the slot machine. Now it's all you know. They have tokens you do that with. You don't actually put coins in there anymore. Mm. Mm. No, I think there's still some slots. Are there still coins. actually some yeah, coins? Yeah, slot machines? Sure. We're probably have to at the airport. That. Maybe at the airport. I don't know. I know a lot of it's been transferred over now to actual like just tokens, you know, like yeah. it's all plastic. Well, it's go, all you digital go, now. You go everything's going. digital, right? Just crypto. Going, yeah. crypto. Oh god, yeah, it's non fungible tokens now. Um, so so we walk into the casino and Dave goes, "Dude, we're not playing the slots." I'm like, "Come on, it's my first time in Vegas. I got fifty cents, burn a hole in my pocket. I just want to put it in the slot machine." He goes, "All right." So I got I got I got uh, Rick, Steve, Dave. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that was the whole Margie trip when Rick got mm. blinded by margaritas. I wasn't up. even there. No, no. You no. weren't because you weren't 21 oh, either. Yeah. Pinay. Uh, Pinay was there. Wow. Yes. Pinay. Yes. yes. Our boy, Andrew Pinay. Shout out. Anyway. I re um, I've heard, I've heard stories. This yeah. trip was legendary. It was legendary. Especially for an 11-year-old. I've heard stories. You were stories. not there, but yes, it was legendary. Yes. So at no, any rate. I wasn't there. Wasn't. So just long and short of it, I'm like, before we, we uh, check in. You know, and, and, and this was back in the day, so everybody was, like, freaking out that we were there. When you still checked in. We still did check in. Uh, everyone was freaking out as we were walking through the casino. It was pretty, you know, it was crazy times back in then. And and I took the 50 cents, and they were like, all right, go ahead, Joey. They treat me like I'm, because I was the youngest. And I put the 50 cents in, one pull, 2,000 bucks. No Yes, way. I did. Yes, I did. I paid for dinner for the entire weekend for everybody off that. Oh, my yes. gosh. One pull. I didn't gamble the rest of the weekend. We went out, you know, we danced, went to yeah. clubs and stuff like that. I think we played like two wow. rounds of blackjack because I wasn't a big car player. But literally, yes, 50 cents I won, $2,000. Wow. $2, my first pull at a slot machine. You know, I've never pulled another slot machine. Yeah, ever. you're never going to do that never, again. Never, never. So. Isn't, that, isn't, that, isn't that crazy? Why well, do? I know, I know. So anyway, that was my What if you're like, and $2.5 million later... <laughs> I'm down. Oh, God, oh, God. God. Really? I have lost it all. I think that's just a really bad problem, Joe. <laughs> no, no, no. Got no, the no. bug. First pool, Vegas. No, 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 no guys. Look, it's all going to turn You're around. Chasing it ever since. It's all gonna that's what happens. You can go down two and a half million. And then, <laughs> and then one pull, you could be up two million. Oh, that's not true. No, no. you're still down 0.5 million. Oh yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, but that was my Vegas story. Isn't that? Isn't that? That is cool. Isn't that crazy? But that was a legendary trip. Hmm. But uh, yeah. Anyway, those guys were all committed to me that weekend. It was a, it was a commitment weekend. They, it was really cool having those guys there. You know, you got a group of friends like that that are. Well, you could be committed so to all bonded. sorts of stuff, right? You could be committed to friends or yourself or your career. Yeah. What's we the have biggest to be... commitment you've ever taken on? <clears throat> Kids. I was going to say his children. Children. What's the biggest commitment you've ever taken on? Uh, for me, it's my children. Yeah, he's yeah. got his beat. I know. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I got you guys beat. Yeah, I got kids. Yeah, I, did we talk about this already? Where I. I don't know if we did. Was that? Um, there's little creatures in here. What was Yes. That? Sounded like somebody dropped a little oh, bell. Oh, my nature friend. A little bell or something. Yeah. Um, so, uh, 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 a... oh, yeah, we, I don't know. Did we talk about this? The whole ceiling falls Where, in. A lot of, do we talk about this? Where corporations won't <clears> hire <throat> guys as much. They, well, they'll hire a guy with kids. Yes, dozen. yes, you were telling us that. Oh, oh man, God, yeah, we've already crazy. talked about it. Yeah, well, it's true though, dude. Because of that, what you just said right there. What's the biggest commitment you ever made in your life? My kids, hand to yeah. down. Well, for yeah. sure. Of course. Well, for well, for sure. Because <clears throat> not only is it is it a commitment that you make, but it's a commitment that you're beholden to. It's that you know, it's for it's forever. I mean, it's for the rest of your mm -hmm. life, no, no yes. matter what. It never ends. <clears throat> Look, ideally, you go into marriage. You want that to be the biggest commitment. And but if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. <clears throat> I I know that well. I know you know that. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. but. Yeah. Kids, it really is an unfortunate thing, man. 
No matter whether I, no, it's I said, right no, I said or wrong. Unfortunately, unfortunately. No, I know. And oh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, yeah. it yeah. is. It is very unfortunate. No, One it thing is. I learned is whether it's right or wrong <laughs> when you make commitments at that level. Um, like I said, whether it's the right thing, whether it's the right outcome, you know, uh, to not be it's together, still it's still difficult. really tough. And feel, and, For some and, reason, it's just, and you still, still feel difficult. terrible about it. Yeah, you, you still do. feel you terrible still about feel it right. because you really did go into it with the intention that it was going to be something different. Of so, course. At any rate, but kids, it's not like that. Kids are forever. Kids are for the rest of your life. That's yeah. it, no matter what. And you take it with such, with such gravitas that it's a commitment that like holds real heavy because mm-hmm. it's you have to you have to, you know, create an environment for these young people to thrive, hopefully, and to become successful people in their own right and to be healthy, like mentally and emotionally. And it's a lot. It's, I'm it's sure. so that is by far the biggest commitment that that I've ever undertaken for sure. And and continue to take it every day. What about you? Shmi? Yeah, I don't know. You're Frenchy? Wow. Yeah, I don't know. It'll contribute. Wow. You don't know? No. What are you, man? Isn't I'm he just, dead? I'm just, I'm just coasting through me, life. man. Isn't he dead? Just riding the wave. Yeah, oh, coasting God. through life. I don't know. I'm committed to lots of things. Every you're, day I make small little commitments. You're committed to lots of things. Yeah. Like what? I mean, you're going to just make fun of me for saying all of it, but, you know. <clears throat> committed to... <clears throat> a healthy lifestyle. Mm. Committed to my dog, Shmi. Perfect. My job. Got movies to deliver. Committed to that. Perfect. You know. Perfect. How's, what are you looking over there? On Instagram? I have a haircut tomorrow. What? <clears throat> I have a haircut. I just got an alert. I got a little trump tomorrow with my uh You need it. It's hair, really growing out hair. there. I don't like it when it gets uh, out of control. <laughs> I mean, like... You gotta get out, out of control. control. Of it's out of control. You bro. couldn't, you couldn't make your hair out of control if you tried. I it's absolutely can't. No, even if you know, a strong yeah. wind came through here, nothing would Strong wind. Uh... Now he would have trouble with the wind. Oh God! Can you imagine filming a scene? Really oh my windy? God! Oh my God! I have very long, out of control hair. Right Everyone now. knows it's windy. Not, you can't see us. What the hell? Dun, the dun, song. Dun, 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 city. Everyone knows it's windy. Mm. Yeah. I have no voice. I didn't sleep last night, <clears throat> and I have this. I, I I get this little like um, post nasal drip when I don't sleep. Then I don't have a voice. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm with you on that. Yeah, I had a great yeah. voice yesterday. Today it's not so great, but it'll be back. I'll just get another, you know, a night's sleep at some point. Coming. Nobody asked me what I'm committed to. What his animals? Ah, yes. He just answered for me. It is his, ap- his lizards. It is his his turtles. Lizards. His lizards. And yes, his, that's and, a very big commitment. and gut loading his bugs to yes. feed his lizards. That's also another big commitment. Yes. But what really I'm committed to is trying to improve upon the previous day. Okay. And trying to have a little bit of momentum every wow. day. That's actually it could really be cool. a tiniest little bit. But as long as I can look back at the end of the day and say, I got a tiny bit more out of this day than I did before, I feel like I can go to sleep and have a good day. Seriously committed to that right now. Kind of halfway through that. And by the way, that's perfect sentiment, by the way. And I, I love that. But halfway through it, when you were speaking of it, all I, for some reason, heard was, it was the night before Christmas, and all <laughs> through the house, not a creature was staring. He really? said, yeah, he went into this voice. He was like, well, what I'm committed to is trying to be a little better every day. <laughs> I did that on purpose. I'm yeah. glad you picked up and on that. And mom it. and earth this, and an eye and I kept it. Just settled down for a long winter's nap. Yeah. <laughs> and up on the roof, the roof, such a clatter. I sprang to my feet. <laughs> wow, Matt, that is a... <laughs> <laughs> so commitment is what I try to work on every mm-hmm. day. Like uh, Anthony Hopkins, mm-hmm. sort of ish, mm-hmm. or David the guy who Attenborough of <clears throat> podcast. David Attenborough. Oh, you yes. know what another thing I'm committed to lately? What? Oh no, <laughs> no, we don't. My intertle, my intertle, my intertle, <laughs> my intertle. What? what? I have See, internal. this is why I speak like this. I let uh, so that I can make sure my words come out. My internal. It's a turtle that I let go somewhere. My inside internal me. conversation. Oh yes, Ooh, yes. Your internal conversations with yourself. I'm committed to not to showing myself some respect. Yes, yeah. I'm committed. Well, no, respect actually comes from being committed to. Improvements on yourself every little bit of day, and to your word. This is a big one. Oh, dude, got to be committed. Bringing to your us word. back to it. If got to be committed to your word. You actually have to be because internal conversations. Here's the thing. We here's will the thing. Commit People to. don't realize this. You, you throw a little lie out there. Maybe it's for the greater good. Fine. I don't do that. It's not gonna hurt anybody. No. no. Except you. White lies. Except you. Fibs. No good. Thank you so much for watching this clip of the Brotherly Love Podcast. For full episodes, go to the Brotherly Love Pod's YouTube channel. Link in the description. 
And for exclusive weekly bonus content, join our Patreon right now. That's right. There's a link in the description for that, too. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you. Thanks.